All right, Chris, we're going to take a look at Verdun, the World War I French countryside makeover game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you can choose to litter the, the countryside with all sorts of bodies in this multiplayer shooter. We're going to join a squad here, and uh, it looks like we can only join as corporal, so let's do that. Yeah, we're so, done, man. World mm -hmm. War One. Mm -hmm. For those history buffs out there, the Battle of Verdun was apparently one of the costliest battles in human history in terms of lives. It was certainly at the time. Practically, I don't know, it was like a million killed. Seems like a, you know, good use of people's time who really, really, really just disagree with each other over real estate. Yeah, uh, bad scene, French fighting against the Germans. And here in Verdun, we're playing the, uh... all right, we're defending, so I'm gonna, order everyone to defend this site. I'm playing as the NCO, basically the commander of this little squad that I'm in, which means I only have a pistol, so I'm not super good at like perching atop the lines, but like this this guy comes down the pipe and I'll be able to fire much faster than the bolt action rifles that uh, a lot of them are using. Oh crap. Do you think I can should call in a mortar strike over there? You should, Danger call in, close. you should call in as many mortars as humanly possible. Oh, no. That looked like a grenade. That the mortar like... doesn't come that quickly. Yeah. I'm going to step back from there. Are those my mortars? Oh. All right, so that's how basically you tell if someone is on your team or not, whether or not. Oh, yeah, I got three kills nice. with that mortar. Who's your commander now? Uh... That's how you tell who is on your team or not. Basically, you point your gun at them and whether and if there's a name over the top, then they're on your team. All right, let's talk about Verdun the game. Frontline mode is this mode. And if you look at the mini map in the bottom left corner, you'll see that uh, it's, no, it's cool, sorry. <laughs> don't, don't worry. You'll see that this is a long, narrow map. Uh, the sides are all like red and uh, you can't go too far to the left or right. The front itself, the trench you're defending or attacking, moves back and forth. So you just see the message here, the enemy attack has been repulsed. So basically now all my dudes are going to sprint over the top, and the other team Josh. has to, like, um, retreat. <clears throat> and if they don't retreat fast enough, they will be executed automatically by the game. Uh, of course, at the same time, we're pursuing. So this is a pretty frantic, pretty deadly... Uh, section got you? Oh, never mind. of the, uh, I see you, oh no, get down, get down. I did not have my reload situation on point. So this is a deadly time. So basically it's like a- Will you just reload your freaking pistol? <laughs> It's a it's a <sighs> it's a game of push basically. So there's a front line. Yes. If you take the front line, then the map pushes forward in one or the other direction, right? Accurate. Can you take it back? Can they take territory back? Yeah, there can be an ebb and flow to uh, the situation. So yes, that that you can. It's also a it says this is a squad based shooter. So yep, you got our wow. killed. Yeah, I definitely got some kind you of You got mortared. inappropriate killed. Wow. That's what it says. My Minenwerfer. That was brutal. Uh, yeah, so it's not it's not only squad based, but like there are different types of squads you can be in. So the squad we're in now is an attack squad, and I know that because my uh, NCO ability, which is the role that I'm playing, is call in a mortar strike. Other NCO abilities for recon squad, they can call in a plane to fly over no man's land, or they could call in a uh, gas, like you see some gas. And then over you have there. to put your gas mask on? Yes, like I uh, forgot how to actually do that, so we're not going to go into the gas just yet. Chris, you are the worst World War I trench soldier ever. Yeah, well, ever? Come on, I killed some dudes with mortars. Anyways, so there are different squad types, and then within your squad, uh, you've got. Um, different roles to play. So like I said, I'm the NCO. Uh oh, that's a bad guy. Okay, they're shooting at me. I'm the NCO. Uh, then there's also, like, it varies depending on what squad you're in. Um, you can have dudes who are more focused on long range Correct. combat with rifles and scopes. You can have gunners with deployable machine guns. You can have uh, sort of close quarters guys with pistols and a bunch of grenades, etc. And it's not just like, and so not all squads are created equal. Um, let's give a little squad order here, uh, and uh, knowing like which squad you're in, I'm in squad 29, I think that, like, 
these are just names of squads. So like the 99th Croissant Division is not a <laughs> canonical name for a French squad, as far as I know. Uh, but like my specific squad, oh see our attack lost momentum. So now the enemy are going to counterattack. And oh god, nope, that's a good guy. <laughs> No friendly fire, Seems fortunately. like friend foe identification is a problem. Yeah, I think that, you know, I it once you sort of get oriented to the map uh, situation, then... All right, let's... Maybe the uniforms of each soldier, or each yeah, side. Yeah, you'll be able to... All right, get some mortars out there. The uniforms you'll be able to recognize a little better. Oh, mortared again. But maybe my mortar will get some people. Come on. The question I always have when I look at games like this that are a little bit more realistic, I guess like the Rising Storm series. Oh, yeah. Or sorry, the Red Orchestra series. Three more mortar kills. Is, I don't know, is realism fun? Like where's that balance at? That's a really good question because as you, you know, as you can see, this is definitely a, um, a sort of, they're sort of going for that realism. There's no kill cam. I don't know who killed me. Uh, you know, friendly foe, friend or foe identification can be tough like that. Uh, and you die really quick. Um, and your guns are, you know, they aim to be realistic. When I'm doing, when I was doing like rifle play and shooting longer distances, it's not, uh, I didn't detect like a lot of bullet drops, so it's not, I'm not sure the physics are modeled quite that extensively, but yeah, you can die abruptly, as you have uh, seen me do multiple times here, and it can be frustrating, especially when your sort of squad doesn't uh, really get it together or doesn't or seems to be just getting run over by the other team um, then again like you know landing a successful mortar strike pushing forward like there is definitely a certain kind of uh, excitement to that like that momentum and you know the the fraught sort of oh god I'm in a trench this guy might come around the corner I'll have his pistol you feel really you feel kind of fragile which I think is what a lot of people really enjoy from these kind of uh, authentic or, you know, quote unquote authentic genre type games. I think it rounds aren't long enough for you to worry about things such as dysentery and rat problems. Correct, yeah. If I get trench foot, uh, I'm not, that, you know, that heals before the next round. Oh, the battle is a draw. And so there's multiple maps. I'll try to get into a different match right now. This is obviously like a real no man's land kind of match map because it's just all totally. Uh, destroyed. Are the maps blasted French countryside and other blasted <laughs> French countryside? No, there's actually some that have like a bunch of trees and actually look like a nice little place that you can uh, that you can like go for a stroll and have a picnic if it weren't for the warring superpowers uh, just trying to destroy Any, each other. Any uh, fort maps? Uh, no, not that I've played because it has to be like there are like multiple points in each frontline map that go forward and back. Um, so it has to all be kind of terrain that uh, is traversable, and there's not a lot of there's not like any indoor maps that I've seen. There are trench areas, and there are hill areas, and there are sort of like elevation changes. This map was not quite as elevation changey, but yeah, you see, there's a pillbox there. I'm not sure if that's what they were called in World War One or whatever. My technology, my terminology is not super on point, but there are sort of gun emplacements areas where you can defend uh, more. Rigorously, so I'm gonna switch to the gunman. I don't know what it's called, but now my squad doesn't have a commander, which is not optimal. Hopefully, someone will switch into that situation. What's but I just want to show some different weapons. Off what's the spawning? The pistol. You can spawn on your squad uh, leader if they are alive, and oh gosh, so we're charging now. Oh, I'm entangling the barbed wire. Oh, get him. I didn't, you can die from just stumbling into some barbed wire. Hmm. Oh, yep. all right. So now we're like in a situation, I'm gonna try to, there's a lot of this, like, I'm not sure there was a person there. Someone saw me, yeah. I'm dead, and now I'm in a pile of death. Yeah, it's kind of that realism aspect of these games where you might not necessarily know who got you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you dev, you, I mean, you know the name, Smile Dozer, but yeah. you, no, that's to whom I'm falling right now. Smile Dozer did not get me. Uh, you follow your your team, yeah. Uh, you don't, yeah. You don't know where you were gotten from sometimes, and you just really have to rely on reading the battlefield, seeing where you see enemies, and trying not to leave yourself too exposed, like <laughs> I just totally did. Also, 
Yeah, the spawning, like, sometimes, like, that spawn was, like, five seconds. Other spawns take, like, 20 seconds. I'm not 100% sure yet. I've played, like, three hours of this game, so I'm not 100% sure how exactly the spawning works. Uh, I think it has something to do with where your squad commander is sometimes. It has to do with, you know, what sort of phase you guys, your team is on in terms of the push. Um, whoop, okay, doesn't want me to go prone there. Uh, oh, I saw an airplane oh, go over. Yep, was that a... Uh... That's a recon plane, so that's not awesome because that was their recon plane. My NCO issued an attack order, so they want us to go over there, but I'm going to follow these guys around. Why don't you charge, Chris? That works. I'm yeah, sure that charge works. Charge right by the dead horse and then hide in a hole for a, for a few seconds. I've got a rifle and, like, bayonet, so if I get in there, I can uh, really do some damage, but I don't really have any... Um, I don't have any, like, grenades or anything. Those, yep. are, those are a luxury. Yo, buddy that guy just, just died. died. <laughs> yeah. That's... So now we're in danger zone. We're going a little solo here. Gonna kind of creep a little bit. This map does look pretty different from that last map. I'm yeah, saying. yeah, this is... Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? It's a lot more forest. This dude doesn't see me. I'm gonna sneak on the ground. You gonna stab? He's got a buddy. Watch I know, out. I know. Oh, I can't see him. Where'd he go? <laughs> Get him with the stabby stabs. Oh, I killed Otter Chaos. I was going to try to sneak up on him and stab him, but then... Oh, oh Flaboogles! No! <laughs> the Flaboogle. That's kind of what happens when you run across a squad with a bolt-action rifle. <laughs> yeah, not. there's not a lot of, you know, there's no, like, Tommy gun or anything going on in here. Uh, no MP40s. It's all, like, bolt-action rifles and pistols and then machine guns that you have to deploy in order to... No. Nope. Yeah, that was stupid. Did I just see the inocular? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you. Zo you you just focus real hard. It's when you concentrate real eyeballs. hard and your eyeballs zoom in, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> inocular. I like that term. Drive the tank. This tank is busted, and I'm pretty sure there are no vehicles drivable in this uh, game. It's just the trenches, just infantry combat. Incidentally, there is also a rifle deathmatch mode. Not to be called Team Deathmatch, but it's basically Team Deathmatch as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, there's a rifle, there's a deathmatch mode that you can play that's smaller amounts of people. Oh, come on. I thought I saw a dude over here. Uh, he's to your Take right. Shot. He's to your right. He's what? burning around, circling to your right. He's Are you getting it. nervous? <laughs> I was uh, watching. Yeah, we've got about, so we've got four squads on each side. That's 16 players per side, so 32. Players in a match. This is a full match. I've been able to get full matches uh, pretty reliably uh, since starting. Uh oh. I was watching a World War One video the Ooh. other day on YouTube. But one of their many ridiculous ideas they tried in World War One was a crawling tank. It was basically like a tank that you just put on your head, and then you prone crawled across the battlefield. <laughs> you can imagine it. Pretty much just made the enemy laugh their butts off. <laughs> You're just like basically Metal Gear Soliding, only your box isn't cardboard, it's metal. Yeah, that's exactly what they tried. There was a lot of things that they tried, because they really just had no idea what to do with people digging holes in the ground. They're like, oh my god, no, I, why didn't we think of this before? It's, yeah, the gas situation, super bad. Uh, I don't, so I'm gassed now, but that's why I've got my... Gas mask? Got my giant gas mask on. This You're is what it's like to wear a gas mask, kid. Serious gas goggles. Yeah, so it says to defend. All right, it looks like. It says to see, which is apparently difficult with gas goggles. NCO on. called in a mortar shell. My NCO, you can tell, like in the bottom left corner, you can see the mini map. My sphere, NCO sphere of influence is the command range is a little. Like it's good to stay inside that. You get a little more squad points, I believe. Um, and you sort of level up within your uh, within your sort of specific squad. So like we're in the, I'm playing the Fusilier inside of the Oilus squad, I believe. Uh, and so there's a couple different loadouts I can unlock. And so I'm just gonna do that now because I have a couple, I have some extra unlock points. Hmm, so it has an unlock tree. Yeah, so you spend career points to do this stuff. These, I don't really want to, do I want to scope? I feel like I'll spawn as the Chris, can you unlock time. an end to all war? An end to all war? No, only, uh, no, alas. You like this guy. 
As I recall, guy? World yeah. War One was so that's terrible, a, everybody a decided a grenade at me. to never do a war again for at least 10 years. That was the idea, but then apparently, years. you know. 40 years? D d wars, man. Just do them, apparently, is human humanity's rule. Far left flank. So yeah, there's like, there's team chat. People haven't been really on. I don't know if there's voice chat. I haven't heard anyone really talking. Uh, there is, um, you know, text chat you can see people are doing. Uh, and yeah, it's like, it's this, it's this kind of realistic, they're going for it. A lot of people like are really enjoying it nope. because of the realism. Gotcha. Oh, mm. oh yeah. I'll just. Mm. What is that called? Enfilade fire? It's when you're shooting down their trench. When you've done a flank. All right. Oh man, you were just. Oh yeah, I got into it over the right spot. You were in the right place at the right time. Okay. Okay. Now reload. This bolt action. <laughs> Piece of. <laughs> three. Oh. Am I even in the right spot? Yeah, I think I am. I mean, I'm killing hell of dudes, so that must mean I'm in the right spot. These guys have not figured out that you are just murdering oh. their entire trench. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> uh, so laborious. Need, need modern weapons. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, I'm tearing it up right now. M World War One multi-kill. <laughs> monster kill. I feel like they're going to get wise to my position. and Depopulating like Europe. Oh, yeah. Take that ramrod. That dude was in a match I played yesterday. There's not a ton of people playing the game these days, but like you definitely can. Seems like a niche kind of thing. Oh my god. Wow. They are just not. No, they're not figuring it out. They when are they gonna figure it out? One of them must. Cannot reload non-empty magazine. Great. Mm, anybody? Is there anyone over there? Anybody left? Oh. You, you, oh. Uh -oh. you may have killed all of the Germans. Inside the trench, guys. Come Here. on. I got more. Missed it. Oh, that was bad. Oh, he's close. Can you do a oh, grenade? Okay. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's standing there. They're not looking. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, no. Oh, stab. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, my whole, my murder spree is over. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of the nightmare situation you can get into. Someone gets inside your trench line, and if you don't take care of them, you're in a real bad way. So, yeah, I was inside the capture zone, so that was really good. Um, and now we see Captain, oh crap. You could say, Chris, that that team is done. You, you've been wait, you've been waiting, <laughs> you've been waiting on that one the whole demo, haven't you, Samson? Uh, All right, that's fair. Dang it, that was not a good Apparently place. not. Apparently you can't conceal yourself behind a pole only larger than your Slightly larger than your gun. Yeah, man. Oh, that was good. That felt really good. But yeah, like the pistol, you normally spawn with a pistol in a war game and you're like, oh, crap. Or you only pull that out at the last second because you're, oh, no. <laughs> I missed him. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. No, that was bad. The amount of time it takes to actually line up a shot and then <laughs> if you miss, the amount of time it takes to cycle Kick, a bolt. Bolt, bolt. I also, so I have, I should probably, because I'm, this one had, I'm going to switch back to my other gun, because that had more bullets in the uh, clip, as it were. I'm, it's probably not a clip, but, you know. More yeah. bullets oh, available. Field to your right. He prairie dogged. He prairie dogged. <laughs> Whoop. 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 Flanking maneuver. Uh, he's to your left. Yeah, I'm going to hide right. in this bush. Right. Nope. <laughs> Von <laughs> Kloppenberg. He was that right was there. my spot where that I was hanging out. did not say no, that. No, was, that was... They, bush is not strong. Not strong concealment. But yeah, the pistol in, in close quarters is really good. And Have so you seen any of the Call of Duty kids get in on this game and just like run around the map in circles stabbing everybody? There's not. I mean, you because you die so quickly, there's like, a, you know, someone might do that for a little bit. But, um, oh God, just shoot him. Someone might do that for a little bit, but they're going to die pretty quickly. Yeah. Our attack lost momentum? Oh, no! Even after my incredible effort in the trench. Uh, yeah, that kind of stuff tends to get shut down pretty quickly. Um, especially if you're running through an open field. Like, there's always going to be someone on the ridge 
Like, so we're now up on the, I guess we're defending this in place position now. Um, no katana unlock. <laughs> no, I, I think actually there is a trench club. I was reading up on all the different squad loadouts and one of them has a trench club and five grenades and <laughs> no gun. <laughs> That sounds like an amazing loadout for yeah. World War One. Yeah, that, and so that's... Uh, inoculate. I knock <laughs> You're concentrating <laughs> so hard. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that, but that also depends on you getting into yep. the correct... <laughs> depends on you getting into the correct, like, squad specifically. Not because, you know, we're in... You are, like, you. there is that sort of, sorry, there is that kind of, I'm in the Poilus squad, but there are other squads that are, like, specifically named after specific squads, and you can read about them in the guides. Uh, the, the guide and stuff, the sort of UI and figure, like, the, the guides on game systems for this game are not super uh, fleshed out. Like, they're... they're there are tips, and you can sort of figure stuff out by looking in forums, and they do have uh, general guides up and ready, but it's not... Um... Come on. Yeah! It's There's definitely still stuff that you will puzzle about and just trying to have to figure out and buy. All right, Figuring Chris, it out. Verdun? Yeah. Do you... Just closing this out. I don't know, what do you think? Should people check it out on Steam? I don't know, man. If you're starving for, like, uh, a World War I kind of game, if you're one of those people who was really hoping Black Ops 3 would be a back to World War II or something like that, you might want to check it out. It's, uh, you know, I think this is kind of representative of how a gameplay session goes, at least for me. Like, have one good life, have six lives where, like, maybe you get one kill, or maybe you just die. Uh, and so it's... It still feels a little rough around the edges. It still is uh, not, it's not a beautiful game, um, but in terms of that kind of realism, if you're looking for something fresh along those lines, you might give it a look-see. All right, Chris, well, thanks for showing us Verdun. Yeah. Out now. There it is. World Trench War it up. The trenches.